welcome to another video from me, Paraplays, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about Escape from Tarkov. Well, I've spent a little bit of time with this game now, I've been in, I've been on the field, I've got lost in the menus and various other aspects of this game, so I know a little bit about the graphics, the audio, and how this game plays, so I'm getting a lot of questions now on the channel and on Discord. Para, is this game any good? And is this game for me? One of the first questions you're probably going to ask, as I did as a new player, is what type of game is this? And to be honest, I still, I actually, I don't know what type of game this is, and I really don't know what direction the devs at this moment in time are actually aiming for. From looking at some videos as an outsider on YouTube, you may think that this is like player unknown battlegrounds. Everybody spawns in, you grab the loot, you survive, and you win. And to be honest, many aspects of that kind of are what this game currently is. Spawning in with your kit on the field, you look around, you find more stuff on bodies and in bags and in boxes, and then you have to extract at certain points on the map. So in that sense, it is kind of like Player Unknown Battlegrounds, except in that game, you kind of know what the objective is. In that game, it is to win. In this game, for new players, expect the the knowledge and understanding of the fundamentals of this game to be brutally hardcore with no explanation on pretty much anything in this game. Now we could say that is because it's beta, or is it because the devs just don't realise that not everybody wants to spend hours learning this game, you've got to have a little bit of hand holding just to give you a slight little bit of direction. That's why in my personal opinion a lot of people I know who have this game have stopped playing it. It's just to that such utter frustration of what is this? How do I do this? Where do I go? What do I do? Not all games should be this difficult initially to get into. There needs to be a little bit of hand holding, even to point you in the right direction. And it's why many, many players are feeling frustration and not continuing to play Escape from Tarkov. Many of the menu items are not explained, there's no tooltips to explain what certain items are in the inventory. There are things such as keys and other objects you can find in the world, these are not explained or even listed either. And there are many options in games such as checking how many rounds you have on a clip, these are not even listed in the key bindings. So it's things like this that are not really going to help. And especially when new players come into this jump straight into the field, I myself was completely and utterly lost. I ended up having to research on Google and on Reddit and other places, like looking at other people who'd ask questions and finding answers. And for me, many casual players, this is just going to be far too frustrating. You don't want to be having to jump out of game and Google, what is this for? How do I do this? How long does it take this? Little things like this are not really going to help a game at this stage in beta. And I was kind of hoping it would be a little bit further forward at this stage when it's open to everybody who pre-ordered. To give you an example of things I don't know and you definitely won't know when playing this game, how many players are actually in this server right now that I am playing with? How many of those players are of the same rank as myself? How many players are in the same place or location as me at the minute? And what's to stop more advanced players with better equipment and weapons just camping at the locations where the spawn items are? If I'm coming in as a rank 1, is there a rank 20, waiting at the exit point, camping, waiting to kill me as soon as I get there, knowing I haven't got a cat in hell's chance of getting anywhere near it? None of these questions have really been answered, and that hasn't helped me coming into this game as a new player. You will find yourself getting killed again and again and again, trying to get into that goodie box, trying to find out where the extraction point is. And don't for one minute think that the community cares about new players coming in wanting to know how to get there. If you meet somebody in game, they see you, they will kill you. There's no tutorials, no guides, nothing but death and utter loss of everything you've been working to fight for. We could say this is beta so we need to give the game some slack. A lot of people complained about the early access system to this game with you having to bail out nearly a was it £185 here in the UK in order to be guaranteed alpha access? Now if they are a small team then money matters and this is a business model. 
If you went for the mid-range pack, which was still quite expensive, you're only guaranteed a 50% chance to actually get into the Alpha. Now things are not that bad now we're in the Beta, all you need to do is pre-order and you're guaranteed to get into the Beta. Now if I'm brutally honest, I still don't know what this game is. In raids you enter, you find kit, you leave, you fight, and then you die. Now, I don't know what the point of this game is at this stage. There are rumours around on the internet that maybe at some point missions will be added to this game, and it really, really needs these missions because it, you need something to do besides just getting in, kill people, and leave, or die, and die and repeat in my case, because it comes very, very boring very, very quickly. So, Parrot, are you enjoying this game, and are you glad that you've got involved with this game? Well, I can tell you, I am a graphics and an audio whore, and the audio in this game is fantastic. And I mean, the audio is amazing in this game. The graphics are also extremely beautiful, and even running at Ultra. I haven't got the, the most amazing rig out there now, but it runs very, very well. Almost second to none with no lag whatsoever experienced at my end on the graphics. I have suffered some horrendous server lag, but that's, that's got a completely different thing. Now I do wonder here whether this game has a meta system underneath. I have been able to find upgrades and things like that, but the second you come on your own and you're killed and you lose anything, it's just so frustrating. The game does get many things right. No HUD, brilliant. No crosshair, brilliant. This is certainly not an arcade game, this is very hardcore. The actual modelling of the weapons, the handling and the actual satisfaction of firing the weapons is absolutely second to none. The audio will, on a decent set of headphones or a decent set of speakers will blow your mind or your ears. The audio graphics and gun handling is absolutely fantastic. In fact, I'll, I'll put my foot out here and say it's probably the best that I've ever done in playing first person shooters for the last 30 odd years. So in that aspect, it gets this absolutely bang on, and it is very, very satisfying to fire and use these weapons. So can I recommend this game to you right now? Everything seems to be negative. Well, unfortunately for me, the answer is no. The game doesn't really feel like an actual game to me. It doesn't feel like it's finished, but I'm sure there is a turd there that needs polishing. Adding ob objectives and giving new players a chance might make me want to come into the game a little bit more knowing where to go to extract, telling me about how to upgrade and how things work with tooltips, and trying to reduce that utter complicated difficultiness of knowing what anything does or what anything is. I really don't want to have to go to Google and research how to play a game. I just want to jump on, enjoy it with my friends and with Joe Public. The whole aspect of the military gear, clothing, weapons, it's got a whole massive potential for us guys because this is the sort of game that we really love. But currently, my experience as a new player, I cannot recommend Escape from Tarkov. I would just love to know whether you guys have this game, whether it's a game of interest to you, whether you, you'd like me to do some more in-depth videos on things that I've learnt and what I, how my feelings have changed, should I say, when I've played a few more hours on this game. You do have the ability to play it as a scav, which is almost like the, the AI team. You only get one chance to get in, but I'm told that people kill the other AI and it's just become a little bit of a mess. I don't know how this game is going to stop camping. Mission based, even if there was a couple of missions that you could do with, say, your friends. Let's say if there was a squad of four, but there was eight sets of four players in their own squads and they all had their own objectives on the map. That would be exciting, it would be interesting, and it would give you a direction and aim of something to do, because at the minute, I, I still, to this day, I don't know what the game is. Because going in, finding loot and leaving becomes boring very, very quickly. Maybe I'm not seeing the whole picture, but I would love to know what you guys think. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and give me some comments in the box below on what you think about this game my views on the game and whether I am way, way off. But currently, it just doesn't have that hook to keep me coming back for more and more. I've been Para Players, and that's just been my overview and thoughts as a new player on Escape from Tarkov. Thanks for watching, subscribe, thumbs up, and all that rubbish, and I shall see you in another video, no doubt, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.